Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Undertale, where today we are finally moving on to the pacifist run. Now, if you haven't seen the last five episodes, or if you don't know what Undertale is, in this game, there are hundreds, if not thousands of possible endings that you could play through. However, there are three major endings that everyone supposedly plays through when they go through the game. Now, last time we did a neutral run of the game where we just play normally like a normal person. And the goal of that run was to learn the mechanics of the game and to get a feel for what we're dealing with. And now we're going to do a pacifist run where we need to beat the game without killing anything. So we can't kill any bosses, can't kill any enemies, we cannot let anything die or else we have to reset the entire run. I'm not entirely sure how we're going to do this, but hopefully we will be able to get through it. Oh, it's the yellow child. Now, this is also a game where the story will change based off of my decisions, so I'm actually going to really gloss over it, most of the stuff that happened last time and just cut to all the stuff that is new and exciting and didn't happen in the neutral run. Um, where's the demon flower? Ah, uh, do not be afraid, my child. I am Toriel, caretaker of the ruins. I pass through here every day to see if anyone has fallen down. You are the first human to come here in a long time. I will do my best to protect you during your time here. Come! I shall guide you through the catacombs. Where's where's the demon flower? Oh wait, cause okay, so in the last run of the game, we fought this evil demon flower, and the the thing is, it was taking over the save files of the game. But then we beat it and we killed it. So is this the kind of game where that that's like irreversible? Because it was messing with the files. Did we like delete the demon flower from the game, and so it's just not a thing anymore? I mean. If I had known that, I might have spared it, but at the same time, that's a really cool mechanic. That's really nice. Poke Center! Ah! Oh. Frog! The way in this game that you avoid killing monsters is by basically talking to them, and then making them feel nice, and then eventually they just decide, you know what, I don't want to kill this child, this is a nice kid. And so we're going to compliment the frog, and then it's going to leave us. Didn't understand, but it was flattered anyway, that's fine. <laughs> what is that face? Wait, this guy wasn't here before. Ribbit, ribbit, excuse me, human. I have some advice for you about battling monsters. If you act a certain way or fight until you almost defeat them, they might not want to battle you anymore. If a monster does not want to fight you, please use some mercy, human. Ribbit. Well, this guy wasn't here, but oh, it's because we spared that frog earlier. Is that is this that frog? We didn't see him last time because we murdered him. Uh, take one. All right, well, we're a little goody two-shoes this time, so we're gonna only take one. No point in taking more than we need. For no reason in particular, which do you prefer? Cinnamon or butterscotch? I've already answered this. Wait, do not tell me. Is it cinnamon? Yes. <laughs> I had a feeling. When humans fall down here, strangely, I... I often feel like I already know them. Truthfully, when I first saw you, I felt like I was seeing an old friend for the first time. Strange, is it not? Well, thank you for your selection. Um, so Toriel remembers the last run. So I know that the choices we make in the run will actually change the way the story goes, but will the choices we did the last time affect it too somehow? Because she remembers what food we ate. What else does she remember? Is the demon flower actually dead? That's what I'm wondering now. Is the demon flower actually like permanently dead? Or is it just like hiding because we killed it last time? How is he crying up? That's what I like. Okay, it's cool. He makes the top hat. But how how does he cry up? Witchcraft. Head pats. Yay. It's you. It is me! Hooray! Alright, we'll sleep in the dead kid's bed. Ah, uh, and then we get the pie. We gotta make sure to save that so we can eat it in front of the person's divorced husband. It's actually a good thing that we chose to spare all the major bosses in the last run, because now we at least know how to spare them, and then all the minor enemies we can figure it out pretty easily. Okay, yeah, stop being- stop trying to make me happy. Be depressed and let me leave. I have YouTube videos to make. Yes, be depressed. Good. No, no, he's recovering. Kick him while he's down. All right, hugs. Yay. All right, now get off me. I have to go kill people. Human. And it's sand. <laughs> the old whoopee cushion in the hand trick. Wait a sec. 
Have you heard it before or something? You turned around before I said to. Weird. Actually, wait, you're right. I did turn around. Why did we turn around before you told us to? Does our player character also know about the last run? Plot armor activates. Oh. Um. Getting a phone call? Hey, is your, is your refrigerator running? Yes, it is. I'm going to fall for it. Nice. I'll be over to deposit the brewskis. You pet doggo. <laughs> what? I've been pet. Pet, 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 pot, pet. This is something pet me. Something that isn't moving. Uh, I'm gonna need some dog treats for this. Actually, let's do the snowman side quest, because last time we kind of cannibalized the snowman. Hello. Really, though? That human? Do I know that person? Do you not know? Who you know? Of course I know who I know. I wanted to know if you know. I know who I know as much as I know I know who I know. You know? Oh, speak of the devil. In order to stop you, my brother and I have created some puzzles. So, Papyrus remembers us slightly, but doesn't fully remember us? Okay, the lines are blurry. Who does and does not remember us? Okay, we can't go around. That's unfortunate. Snowball. Snowball. I, I don't actually care about the snowball at all. Alright, let's go. Oh! Lesser dog, what can we do? I'm thinking... I'm thinking we pet. Did his neck just get longer? Um... It, it just keeps getting longer. Wait, how far does this go? It's not even attacking us anymore. What is this? I'm so confused. It just keeps going. Wait. Is it coming down? <laughs> what is, how far does this go? Do we get anything for going to a certain point or does it just keep going? It, it just keeps going. It's overlapping with the text box, okay. It's possible that you may have a problem. What does that mean? Is it gonna unlock like a special attack if it gets to a certain point? Or is it saying that I'm addicted to petting this dog? Because that would be correct. Um, I, I've lost the ability to pet it now. So I think, I think this is as far as it goes, but oh my God, is that dumb. Well, that was just about the stupidest thing I've seen all day. Dogs can pet other dogs. A new world has been opened up for us. Thanks, weird puppy. That was also weird. All right. Hello, Papyrus. What? How did you avoid my trap? And more importantly, is there any left for me? What do you tell Papyrus about his spaghetti? No one has ever enjoyed my cooking before. Well then, but not human. I, Master Chef Papyrus, will make you all the pasta you could ever want. Nyeh. <laughs> uh, hopefully we start getting into like the rest of the game soon, because I think we're still in the tutorial phase. All right, we gotta speed run this game. All right, we don't have time to mess around. Well, I mean we do, but I I don't really feel like messing around because I be I believe. That it's after the fight with Papyrus that the game actually starts to change and get interesting, and then I can have, like, actual content. Human! Allow me to tell you about some complex feelings. Somehow, I feel like you're an old friend, even though I've actually never met you before. I can't explain why I feel this way. Did I meet you online? I have many social media connections. It's hard to keep track of them all. Just a dozen more, and I'll finally reach double digits! Hey, wait a second! You can't be my friend! You're a human! I can't believe you almost tricked me into not defeating you! Uh, we fight Papyrus. Wait, what's something else we can do? Do we have anything? Wait, can we use the stick? You throw the stick and Papyrus brings it back in his mouth. Oh! Okay, as dumb as that is, I 100% believe that it's a Papyrus thing to do. What? Flirting? So, you finally reveal your altered feelings! Uh, no, not really. I think this is the kind of fight where we can't actually force it to go faster. We just need to keep going until he runs out of stamina. What? I'm not thinking about that date thing! Okay, good, because I... I really don't want to think about that. That's that's coming later. Actually, you know what? I'm already doing the stupid voice acting thing. If we're gonna if, if we're gonna go with the game with the game, let's at least go all out. Yeah! Don't make me use my special attack. I would never dream of doing something so horrendous to you, Papyrus, my love. Papyrus, head of the royal god. Papyrus, unparalleled spaghetti. The king will come ahead in the shape of my smile. It's not outside the realm of possibility. I'll give you that much. I'll have lots of admirers, but will anyone like me as sincerely as you? Probably, 
probably, yeah. Someone like you is really rare, and dating might be kind of hard. After you're captured and sent away, I agree, it would be very difficult for you to go on a date with me if you give me to Undyne, which is why you should instead decide to help me. Ah, who cares? Give up! I don't think that I will now. Yeah! Very soon I will use my special attack! I know you won't, because I've played this game. Not too long and I will use that special attack. Just do it. Stop teasing me and do it. My last chance. No, this is your last chance. Do it or I'm not going to believe you have one. Behold, my special attack! And the dog steals it. Okay, yeah. Well, it's clear you can't defeat me. <laughs> yeah, I can see you shaking in your boots. Therefore, I, the Great Papyrus, elect to grant you pity. I will spare you, human. Now's your chance to accept my mercy. Ah, <sighs> We did it. You know what? It's going to force us to go on a date with him because this game is weird. Let's be friends, dude. Really? You want to be friends with me? Yes, of course I do. Well then, I guess. I guess I can make an allowance for you. Wowie! We haven't even had our first date. And I've already managed to hit the friend zone. <laughs> Feel free to come by and have that date. <laughs> so... I actually looked up the requirements for Pacifist earlier, and unfortunately, the date with Papyrus is mandatory. We're not allowed to not do it. Hello, Mr. Papyrus. So, you came back to have that date with me. You must be really serious about the- I am, incredibly. I'll have to take you someplace really special. A place I like to spend a lot of my time. My house! Incredible. I would have never expected, because I've never played this game before. Nope. So this is as far as we got with the neutral run through. We went into the house, but then we have to go in here to do the date with Papyrus. And last time I turned away at the last second because I honestly didn't care. But you know what? All right, come along, my love. That's my room. If you've finished looking around, we could go in and... Uh, do whatever people do when they date. Go inside. Yes, we'll go inside. <laughs> He's got a race car bed. Okay, okay, I know this is a funny gag and all, but isn't this the uh, equivalent of a person with a bag or a box of limbs just sitting in their room? Like, just a box of severed limbs for no reason. So, um, if you've seen everything, do you want to start the date? Of course I do. Begin the- yes. Dating starts! Here we are, on our date. I've actually never done this before, but don't worry! You can't spell prepared without several letters from my name. <laughs> Alright, I'll, I'll give him that, that's funny. I snagged an official dating rulebook from the library. We're ready to have a great time. Let's see. Step one. Press the C key on your dating keyboard for your dating HUD. C. What? Sonic? Wowie! I feel so informed! I think we're ready for step two! Step two... Ask them on a date! Ahem! Human! I, the Great Papyrus, will go on a date with you! Uh, yes. Yes, Papyrus. That is correct. Really? Wowie! I guess that means it's time for part three! Step three. Put on nice clothes to show you care! Wait a second. Wear clothing. That ribbon in your hair. You're wearing clothing right now. Not only that. Earlier today, you were also wearing clothing. No. Could it be you've wanted to date me from the very beginning? Yes, Papyrus. I have been madly in love with you from the start. No. You planned it all. You're way better at dating than I am. No. No. You're dating power. Why is there a bar for that? <laughs> Don't think you've bested me yet. I, the Great Papyrus, have never been beaten at dating and never will. I can easily keep up with you. You see, I too can wear clothing. In fact, I always wear my special clothes underneath my regular clothes! Just in case somebody happens to ask me on a date! Wow, this man is very prepared for this very weird situation. I'm a child, right? How, how old is this skeleton? More importantly, how old is this child? I'm still pretty sure that this child is like four. Behold! Oh! <laughs> yeah. What do you think of my secret style? It is... No! 
A genuine compliment. Definitely genuine. Incredibly genuine, my love. However, you don't truly understand the hidden power of this outfit. Therefore, what you just said is invalid. This date won't escalate any farther unless you find my secret. But that won't happen. The shirt didn't originally say cool, but I improved it. Expert tip. All clothing articles can be improved this way. Correct. That is correct. Human souls are stronger than monster souls, but the souls of our shoes, on the other hand, are about the same. Is he wearing basketballs? I see. I see. You like caressing my biceps with a floating heart. But who doesn't? My hat? My hat? My hat! <laughs> well then, you found my secrets. I suppose I have no choice. It's a present. A present just for you! The brains? You know what this is? No clue. <laughs> That's right! You have no idea! Though this appears to be spaghetti, this ain't any plain old pasta! This is an artisan's work! Silken spaghetti, finely aged in an oaken cask, then cooked by me, Master Chef Papyrus! Human, it's time to end this! There's no way this can go any farther! It's indescribable. What a passionate expression. You must really love my cooking. I don't know if love is the word. You know what? Screw it. Yes, I am madly in love with this cooking. I wish to eat this every day for the rest of my life until I die, which at this rate could be any day now. And by extension, me! Yes, definitely. Maybe even more than I do. Ah! No! Oh my god, the bar is going. Human! It's clear now! You're madly in love with me! Indeed I am, Papyrus, my love. I've waited years for this moment. Everything you do, everything you say, it's all been for my sake! Human! I want you to be happy, too! It's time for me to express my feelings! It's time that I told you! I, Papyrus! I... Um... Boy, is it hot in here or is it just you're a skeleton, you can't sweat? How is a skeleton sweating? How is that possible? Explain. Oh, shoot. Human, I... I'm sorry. I don't like you the way that you... Wait, did I just get rejected by Papyrus? Hold on, no, this is supposed to be the other way around. Are you telling me I have to restart because of this? Romantically, I mean... I mean, I tried very hard to. I thought that because you flirted with me... That I was supposed to go on a date with you. Then, on the date, feelings would blossom forth. I would be able to match your passion for me. But alas, I, the great papyrus, have failed. I feel just the same as before. And instead, by dating you, I've only drawn you deeper into your intense love for me. <laughs> no, papyrus, say it isn't so. <laughs> A dark prison of passion with no hope of escape. How could I have done this to my dear friend? No. Wait, that's wrong! I can't fail at anything. Human! I'll help you through these trying times. I'll keep being your cool friend and act like this all never happened. After all, you are very great. It would be tragic to lose your friendship. So please, don't cry because I won't kiss you. Because I don't even have lips. And hey, someday you'll find someone as great as me. Well, no, that's not true. But I'll help you settle for second best. But I don't want second best, my love. <laughs> <laughs> He's confident. We'll give him that. Oh, and if you ever need to reach me, here's my phone number. You can call me anytime. Platonically. Well, gotta go. <laughs> I just got rejected by someone who has a freaking race car bed. I mean, then again, I'm like five. I don't... Honestly, I think it would have been weirder if I didn't... Wait, so that means I can call him now. Oh, Papyrus' phone. Ring, ring. Wow, it only took you four seconds to call me. You must be very desperate for my help. Well, do not fear. This is Papyrus' hospital helpline. Just describe your location and I will describe some hot tips. So, where are you? You're still in my room. Have you heard of something called a door? Great, don't worry. I'll draw a diagram for you. Alright. Papyrus, I'll give him that. He's funny. 